This is the Rebellion, the sword used by Dante in the Devil May Cry series. Well, at least um, two through four. I don't think he uses it in the first game. Or, I mean, he does use it in the remake, but it has a different design. This is the design from Devil May Cry 2, 3, and 4, basically. This came in the mail today, and this was my birthday gift. I wanted, since I'm a huge fan of the Devil May Cry series, I asked, can I get the sword? And my parents were hesitant, but they said yes anyway, after I convinced them that, you know, I can handle it. But basically, um, that's another story. So to get a better view of it, damn it get a better view of it put it on the bed and you can see this is the uh, handle right here not really sure what this is made out of it feels like a plastic a very good plastic this is metal obviously and it's very sharp that's something I have to get out of the way this is sharp and if you look in there it's very hard to see but there's like a um, little ball in there which is, I think, in Dante's sword, but I think it's a red crystal. And this is probably the coolest part of the sword besides the blade. This is the uh, skull design with the bones, you know, which is really, really cool. And you have this, which is like the blade holder, stuff like that. Which, and then this is supposed to re represent the rib cages, which I almost completely forgot. And it's the same thing on the other side. You know, because it's the same thing on the real sword. And the reason I'm doing this video is because there's only, like, one or two okay videos that show this sword. And I thought I'd make my own version um, for anyone who wants to get the sword and recommend it or not and give you actual detail. Because the videos I saw on the sword were terrible. So, you have the blade here. And since I just got it in the mail... Um, it looks a little bit dusty and, you know, which um, they actually mentioned on the website where I got this, and the website I got this was, I think, TrueSwords.com, and they mentioned that you can clean it with, like, a light oil and then wipe it down with a very um, clean cloth, and that will help it out, make it look better and shinier, I guess. And in very, very small print, it says China. It might camera would focus in on it. Well, it's just trying to. I don't want to wait for my camera to focus. I'm just flip it around. It's, just, it's the same thing on the other side, except it doesn't say China right there. Um, and then you, when you move up the blade, you have the curves, which are like the real sword. And then you have the tip, which actually is uh, sharp and pointy. But the blade itself isn't sharp. It's actually slightly rounded. It's not completely rounded, but it's not sharp enough that you could, like, slice someone's head off. Um, not, like, not that you'd be able to, because this sword is actually pretty heavy. When I, for, when I was... When I, for, when I got the sword, I was expecting it to be... Um, oh, shit, that made, like, a light machine sound. When I first got it, I knew it was going to be heavy, but I didn't think it would be this heavy. I mean, it's not so heavy that I can't pick it up or anything, because I can. But when you try to, um switch to my right hand because I'm already when you when you try to lift it lift the blade and stuff like that with one hand it's pretty pretty tough you know so as you can see I'm holding the blade right now and that's why I almost never pick it up with one hand because I'm afraid the blade will just like snap off so you can't really swing this around like a toy or something like that, which I wouldn't recommend in the first place. Because either one of two things will happen. You'll either break your wrist um, or break it. Uh, I think breaking it is the bigger possibility. I don't think you'd break your wrist unless you're a five-year-old. But this is actually meant more for display, cosplay, uh, you know, stuff like that. And I was originally going to get the one with the little circle with the pins on it so you could hang it on my on your wall. But the blade was red instead of the chrome silver, whatever you, you'd call this. So I said, um, I don't want the red blade, I want the silver one. So I just got it without the 
um, display thing. I was probably going to put it either over my bed or somewhere over there or there or whatever. <laughs> so I guess I'll just have it as a collector's item. You know, because in the future I am going to collect more swords. I was deciding or whether or not I would get this one or the Zelda Master Sword. But since I've been getting at the Devil May Cry a lot lately, and um, since I think this one looks a little bit cooler, I think I said cooler, since I think this one looks a little bit cooler, I decided to get this one, but my next sword will be the Zelda Master Sword, because I'm a huge Zelda fan. Now, you get a few more angles of this. This is the blade when you look down, like that. Oh, I should also probably... Ex um, talk about how it handles. Um, as I said before, the blade is heavy. It's really heavy. Even with two hands, you, you can you can swing it, but it's very, very slow. And if you probably pushed any harder, the blade would probably um, creak and like bend. Or um, you've probably damaged something really bad. I don't know why you'd want to do that in the first place, but I've read a lot of reviews saying how the handle is very, very loose. Well, not very, very loose, but loose enough that it, it can bother some people. But I, from what I can see, it's not the handle that's loose, it's this. Because when I first pulled it out of the box, um, as you can see, there's, it's, it's open. So I thought, oh my god, it got damaged in packaging. I still don't know if that was intentional or it's supposed to look like that. But... It's, eh, it doesn't bother me that much. Not like I'm going to use this as a real weapon anyway, because, I mean, who would do that? This is stupid. So, and also if you look in here, it's kind of hard to tell with the camera, but, yeah, the blade isn't really centered. So that also concerned me. I don't, again, I don't know if that's part of the blade or not, but... If you're going to be getting this for a collector's item, it shouldn't really bother you that much. I mean, if you get it and the blade is rocking back and forth, then you, sh you should be concerned. Mine may be uneven, but it doesn't rock back and forth when I move it. Even when I'm quote-unquote swinging it, the blade stays in place. So, if you're planning to get the sword to use it as a toy or to swing around in your backyard, um, don't because the blade is very heavy and even though I'm sort of a strong guy this is still heavy for me and you know if you're but if you're planning on getting it for display uh, cosplay and you know just as a showpiece like I did then I would recommend it especially if you're a fan of the Devil May Cry series because the sword looks really cool the blade feels very, very nice. You know, it doesn't feel cheap at all. I mean, you definitely get what you pay for. I got this on TrueSwords.com for $80. And it got a lot of good reviews. A lot of four and five star reviews. I think that's all the reviews that it got. I saw only occasionally a one or two star review. But that was rare. Most of the reviews I saw were positive, And I can see why, even though I've only had it for a few hours. Um, I was going to make an unboxing video, but it was difficult to hold the camera and cut the box open at the same time, so. But it did come with, like, a True Swords, um, little panel thing. Not a panel. It was paper, but it didn't, ha didn't have any stickers on it. It was basically just, like, an advertising thing. So, the sword is good. The blade is very good even though it's not a real blade which I don't mind because I'm not going to use it as, as a real weapon anyway uh, the handle the weight of it is feels nice even though it's a little heavy and the designs on the sword match the game pretty well and I just and I was actually playing Devil May Cry 4 a few minutes ago to compare and it looks very very similar so if you're a fan of the Devil May Cry series and you want to get Dante's sword, I highly recommend it. So that's my video. Peace out, guys.